Hey, welcome to uh, my channel where we're gonna talk about today the G.I. Joe reaction series, the Red Ninja for a Cobra Assassin. This was only $3.99 at Ross, so I highly suggest you pick them up now. Uh, if you're trying to collect them, it's only for adults, which is what my channel is only for as well. You'll see that these uh, toys are meant for adults. And I don't wanna say adult toys, because that sounds like something totally not right. They're, uh, these are kind of a troop builder thing, so if they had more than one, I probably would've grabbed it, but that really, probably wouldn't at the same time. I only saw one at my store. Uh, the primary military special is an assassin. Secondary is commando. They don't have a real name because they're just a background character. Birthplace is of course classified, which is ironic because um, there's no real name classified as well, which I, I anyway. Great equivalent to an M16. Very few saw him, even less were lucky enough to be able to describe him, which I can describe him, he's wearing red. Now, I'm gonna compare this figure to one of my other ones after I peel it as carefully as possible off of the card because I try to keep the card art on these. I think the card art is really amazing. All right, there we go. We got to preserve it. The figure comes right off. There's no rubber bands attached to him. He has quivered on his back for his archery, his bow. And he has two swords or two katana. A short one and a long one. If I can get them off of here without, well, it looks like I bent them. I don't like bending these things. They might go, hey, I like being bent and be bent more often. Okay, see, it liked being bent. Okay, so these figures are kind of like, what if the uh, Star Wars people also made the uh, figures for G.I. Joe? His arm would be a 360 degree swivel if it wasn't for his um, quiver. His head whew, is tight, but it still does 360 degrees. His legs, he can do a proper sit down like all of them can. And he can't go back any farther. So if he wants to do a back kick, he's going to, have to do this because that's what Ninja uh, nin Shinobi do. Shinobi Nobi do. So his quiver can hold his bow in the back. That's pretty good. You can also put his bow in his hand, but I want to get to the weapons that really belong in his hand. Plus, I think the swords may go on his back as well, but let's try it. Let's do this. So I guess you can put the swords in there, but it's not quite the same. I mean, you're not supposed to really carry your swords. Like they're, they're both really short though. He's got a really short katana. Uh, I feel like I should console him, dude. It's okay. You know, size matters not. He's got two of them at least. So let's compare him to, I think his name is Kuhn. He was the first of the uh, reaction G.I. Joe figures I ever bought. So they're very similar in the way they look. I'm pretty sure they're repaints of each other. I'm looking for any differences in between them other than obviously the, the paint colors. Even the hoods have that split down the middle. They both have quivers. I put the bow in his and his num chuck. Now the sword, um, let's see a sword measuring contest. His sword's the same length, but it appears to be made out of all wood. I like his paint job better, um, but he's got better swords. I don't know why they didn't paint his swords unless that's maybe he just uses wooden weapons. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this particular character. Red Ninja, Red, Red Shinobi, the Red Ninja. Um, well, they're kind of working all over the place. There's not like one in particular. Now, if you want to know how big he is, well, he is actually the same size as the original G.I. Joe. He is, uh, let me put his foot on the bottom. He is close to 10 centimeters on one side. And then on the other side, he is uh, just about three and three quarters inch. And if you don't believe me, here's the original Zartan. You put them on the same foot pedestal. He is a little bit shorter for some reason. Well, Kuhn would be the smarter one, too. Let's compare him to another ninja. I think he's the same height as him. All right, so I don't know if you guys are interested in picking these up. I know that when the reaction jumped their prices up to $20, I was like, count me out. I'm not paying $20. I wouldn't even pay $10 before the inflation um, for the figures. I would wait for them to go on clearance for 5 bucks. But $20, no thank you. $3.99? There we go. That's more like it. 
I think the only one I bought more than any of these is the bat. And I think I paid like 10 bucks for him, but I can't remember. You can watch that video and tell me. All right, so what do you think? Do you uh, like the black one or the red one? Which one do you like better? Or do you like the originals? Is this part of your collection? And are you going to keep them in the same group? Because at first I thought they would be too big. They could fit in just like zombies though with their arms. Have a great day and go Cobra.